leaving. So, yes, no, no, it definitely is not your fault that that happened. Uh, I'm sure the guys in the Loftus press box are disappointed they don't get to chat to you, but they can get the recording from me if they need it. Okay. Um, yeah, so Dobber, just from my side, I mean, uh, incredible character, obviously, to win again at, at, at Loftus. What did you say to the team afterwards? What, what, you know, what, what was the message after that game? Mike, can you see us? I can see you fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, we yeah. can hear you. I can hear you. just can't see you, but I don't know. I don't know. Some setting up obviously going wrong. It's fine. Okay. Um, no, look, my brothers, I said the same thing very quickly, just that we're very proud of them. I didn't really, literally didn't say anything more. Very proud of the character. Right? Um, yeah, and, and, and to, to the pressure of the 41,000 people and all that to handle all of that. Uh, and and to hold on at the end there, even with you know guys like Brunners off the field, uh, you must have been really chuffed with the way that even the bench came on and and held out at the end. Yeah, um, uh, uh, Dion and Nita spoke in the week a lot about how intense, and we knew the level of motivation and desperation for this game. Uh, those few 20, first 20 or 30 minutes or 20 minutes, yeah, would be really tough. They dominated the territory for most of that half. Um, we conceded too many penalties as well. Uh, it was all the stuff we didn't talk about. They won that contestable battle well. I thought Rion Nokia was outstanding. But then, um, you know, we could have probably, you know, if Diana got the ball down, it was you, wasn't it? it was yeah. you. Yeah. They, they could have taken us away. So the way we fought, stayed in that fight, got into a lead at halftime, and then started that second half was magic. And then the character at the end. That's just what this team's about, That what happened in those last 10 minutes. And so I'm so proud of that. Sure. Dion, obviously, it's something we've made a bit of this week as you've played in a couple of, of these games. Where, where does this one rank for you? I mean, it's obviously, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big one. Yeah, it's, uh, especially with the crowd. Um, just to latch on to that, um, uh, thanks to all the Stormers out there yeah. as well. I, th I don't think it was 40, 41,000 Bull supporters. I think it was almost half off. And yeah, thanks to all the support that came out for that. And yeah, I drank up there. It was quite stressful at the end. Um, I grew a few few more grey hairs. Uh, but um, yeah, it's lucky to win like that. It just uh, like Dobo said, just shows the character and of the team and that that will help to to build us to, uh, going forward and just being being better and um yeah and hopefully we can build on this today and another nice week off next week uh, surely mm -hmm. yeah flying out to <laughs> to the south coast tomorrow so can't wait <laughs> <laughs> okay okay guys i see caleb's got his hand up go for it caleb yeah one for dobo and one for dian i'll start with dian um it's it's a big year for obvious reasons, and you seem to be notching up those good performances. Um, I think you probably asked earlier what 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 makes you keep going at not a very young age in terms of getting those performances out on big days like this. Yeah, um, I think with the environment in, in in the squad at the moment, it's uh, it's just a given. I think what what the guys uh, put their hand up every in training and, and on the field, if uh, it just you just have to, to to do your part as well and that and that comes easier if if the guys around you do their part as well so um yeah so credit to to the team and and to the management as well for 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 keeping us uh, motivated for every week yeah and double in terms of confidence it seems like herschel is getting his mojo back and is playing some 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 good rugby and uh, talk us through the substitution quite early um between skara and um and joseph as well no, that was completely pre-planned. Um, you know, Scarra has been out for so long. We knew he you know, to do a whole half at Loftus. The last, the last ten of the second half of the first half could be quite tough. So it's his birthday today. Uh, but he he knew that was the it was the plan. The whole team knew that the plan before the game. Thirty minutes and we make the sub, just because you know, as I said, the end of that half up at altitude can be quite and that heavier field could be a little bit tiring for him. And Joe's obviously in great form, so that was a plan. But I'm thrilled with Herschel. I think. You know, I'm just so, you know, you probably guys, you see him playing much better, which is great. But I'll tell you from a leadership and professionalism and just as being a, and humor, he's just a, yeah. he's like the next sort of, not the next, that's wrong, but he's like a Damon Willems like president, competitive, but funny, positive, professional. He's really growing up in front of our eyes, not, not, not literally, figuratively. <laughs> um, cool, Caleb, you happy, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'm happy. I'll give that as a chance. I might come back with one more. Awesome. Thanks. All right, Ashfaq, go for it. Thanks, Mikey. Hi, Dion. Hi, Double. Double, at 12-3, it, it seemed like, I mean, you guys had hardly fired a shot and they kicking their points and, uh, you know, nine points up. Do you think it, it was going to be a bad night at the, at the office and what turned things around? Yeah, I definitely think it was good. We, you know, 
as Dion will probably tell you as well, we, we did everything that we shouldn't have done. We gave away double penalties. You know, Sabella took the guy in the air, um, which is pretty unforced. And then we went offside of the line, two unforced penalties. They got the, you know, and then I think, um, you know, you're right, at 12 3 down. I think we had a scrum down in the right hand corner where Brocky got us a penalty, but we were under the pump. They'd gone there 19 3. I think, I don't know, maybe Dion could talk to what turned it around because it wasn't a tactical thing. I, you know, we were losing the contestable battle and we tied it up a little bit there. What do you feel, Brian? Yeah, no, I, I, it's just the silly mistakes. We spoke about it during the week. Um, we didn't get in there off once and we just spoke about like just clamp down on silly mistakes, just keep it to the basics and just let's just play and get into their off. And as soon as we got into their off, I told the guys every time we're in there in their 22, we we came, we walked away with points. Um, and then, um, yeah, and I think that turned around. But I think the guys, the guys knew the first 20 minutes is going to be, we spoke about it the whole week. The first 20 minutes, they, they're probably going to be up in the scoreboard the first 20 minutes because they, it's in front of their own crowd and they've got a lot to play for. And we would just keep into the fight. And, uh, yeah, like, um, like last year and through the whole yeah, we always play for 80 minutes and, yeah, credit to the team. And Dobo, the man next to you is now a, a nice, ripe old age of 36, but he's playing like a 26 year old the way he's getting stuck in there on the ground. He's, uh, he's absolutely superb. I mean, so, uh, to my mind, one of the best open side flankers in world rugby when it comes to uh, to, to stealing ball. And comp- also a great leader, great guy, uh, great and competitive. And I was just worried that he was going to sort of, look, I can't speak, but like uh, the World Cup would be a natural ending point, but we signed him for another few years, I hope. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. He's not going anywhere. No, we're really very proud of him. Great skipper, great leader, great human being, great player. Cool, thanks. Ashfa Kalitsan is next. Thanks, Mikey. Hi, Dobbo. Hi, Dion. Dion, um, just just for you on that, um, uh, being a, a past thirty five year old going for balls on the ground, um, you you need to pick your battles, and 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 you did that quite good tonight because yeah. they looked after you. Um, just just speak to us on on that. Um, when do you decide when to go in, when to lay back? Um, because sometimes you wait for two extra tackles, then you go in or then you, or you go after the first pick up and go, you go in. Yeah. Um, there was a few question marks on, on, on my stealing during the week from, from the Bulls side yeah. uh, through a ref. So I knew I, I had to be squeaky clean uh, on that side. Um, and yeah, I think it just comes with experience. Um, I think over my career, 16, 17 years of career, you know, when when to read the situation, I think it's all, all about situation. You see what when it's on. Um, yeah, so yeah, I don't I don't I don't know why, but uh, I just see the situation develops, and then I see the opportunity, and then and then I try and go for it. And then just double um, when when Dion was off, um, you still had a couple of guys who stuck their heads um, in there. Um, I, I would think that that sort of. Um, uh, Motivation would come from from Dion doing the hard work up front in in the minutes that he was on the field, and then the other guys just carry on. We had we even had Ruben um, take a ball um, from the rack there. Uh, look, I mean, uh, Norman probably. Yeah, is, I just want to say yeah, Norman is going to, you know, because he's got a system, and that's certainly not in our system. You know, uh, Ruben and Sars getting those turnovers, but um, I think we were defending so well. And uh, the Bulls were, you know, it was not like kick space was a threat. That, you know, we could probably put an extra, have an extra look in and it paid, it paid off for us. But, you know, it's just a, there was just like this desperation of wanting to defend to win. And it saw us, you know, saw us take those balls. I thought we defended absolutely, defended excellently. I think uh, just on the side, I thought Ruben van Hedden is an immense player. We, um, yeah, just, we're very lucky to have him. But, well, for him to kick the last ball out here, it is special. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Thanks, Thanks. Leeds. Next is Mabin. Yes, Mabin. Hi, good evening, Dobbo. Good evening, Brunners. Uh, first of all, well yeah. done on the victory. Um, just Dobbo, question. Um, you guys have obviously beaten the Sharks um, away from home, and tonight you beat the Bulls. Um, you know, with Leinster, the Leinster game coming up on the 24th of, of March, obviously, I know it's far away, but um, does it give you a sense of confidence uh, that you, you guys can actually win from home now, or away, let's put it there? No, I think I think in tough, you know, one two tough away games, Sharks and Bulls. We do need we do need to win in the UK. Um, you know, we've only won a couple of, well in in Europe, so that probably needs somewhere we need to sharpen up. And I think Leinster is going to be a great experience for us. 
um, you know, we'll get a lot of confidence from what happens there. You know, even if we hypothetically don't win it, uh, you know, if we end up playing there in a playoff or in a final, uh, that'll be a great experience for us. But it's something we want to get better, especially on those, which Leinster isn't, but on those artificial pitches where we've, uh, we struggled a bit in Glasgow. But uh, yeah, we, I think um, yeah, we've got the Sharks one more game. If we get that right, we've got a clean sweep of the local, of the local uh, derbies, which would be brilliant for us. And then, Dobber, just my final question. Um, obviously, not much has been spoken about this week, but obviously your counterpart, Jake White, um, you've beaten him five times now. Um, I don't think there's any coach um, that's beaten him five times in a row. Is there any word on that? Uh, it's, listen, I'm, I've been, there's been a lot of talk, but it doesn't come from us about the 4-0 or the 5-0. Um, <laughs> uh, every game, I'm, I'm being serious, every game is a new game. I, I think they, and, and I'm sure they point out themselves, uh, they, they, they beat us for quite a few of them when Dion came back uh, before then in the in the, those curry cups of the lockdown and that sort of thing. I think they probably mean maybe even one more in a row against us. So I don't look at it against me. So he's probably, I don't look at it like that. Genuine joy for the uh, for, for 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 the team. Uh, I promise you, it's not, we don't view through that prism at all. Cool. All right. Next is Adnan. Yes, Adnan. Hello, guys. Congrats on the win. Um, just on on that, Jake mentioned uh, when I asked him about money, um, maybe having regrets letting money go. Um, a few years ago, when he took over, and he was very complimentary and obviously in, in the way money progressed, but uh, also the the way uh, W um, mentored him and, and getting him to the level where he is now. And uh, not only him, but other players as well. So, uh, yeah, just the, the culture that you've created with regards to those those kind of players. Yeah, I, uh, we, we, look, I think we were in a bit of a hole, as you know, Nani, a, a year or two ago. Um, and we had to sort of build a team um, and we identified, you know, we want to produce our local talent and we got the, you know, the best, you know, to my mind, you know, up with the best school or club systems around. So we want to produce, and, uh, and there's varsities, we want to produce our own talent. Uh, but, you know, we had to at that stage get a couple of guys in from elsewhere. We just, want, we just wanted to identify guys with potential that we could make into something something special. And I think, you know, with guys like Evan and Achiever and Marnie, uh, you know, Marvin was always a good player, but we, I think we've got some nice things, and obviously the great romantic stories of Brock and Dion. But I think we just created the environment where these guys could flourish. Um, yeah, so very like, to see guys like you know, who Dion and Marnie, I'm probably forgetting, Evan become Springboks over the last year is absolutely brilliant for us. And, um, as I say, we and also we got guys back from our regions that clearly means a lot to Marnie, it clearly means a lot to Marvin Brunners, which is helps, which makes our job as coaches a bit easier with them. You're not selling them something. And you know, vanilla or or unrelated. This is part of the Murch and Bien, as you say in Afrikaans, which is brilliant. Yeah, talking about Murch and Bien, the uh, players like um, you know, Suleiman Hatzenberg, guys that come yeah. from from areas where like Manenberg and so on. Um, there are probably thousands of players like that on the Cape Flats, and 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 that is uh, the one thing that a lot of people are happy about to see those kind of players coming through and get getting an opportunity. You obviously know the history, uh, you know, in the past, there were many players like that who, who people said who could have played at the highest level, but that just proves that, that the guys could have done it. Uh, no, it's a, it's a great question. and I, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, the Suleiman story from Manenberg, what's it called? The Chachas, what do you call it? The, uh, Tachis. Tachis. He, he, Tachis. Tachis. That is so important because that's where I support. I mean, you ask, yeah, I'm sorry, I'll get a bit of wound up now, but it took us about 40 minutes just to get out to the bus with all the supporters and guys had driven up you know, palpably from the Cape Flats to, to, the, to Pretoria. You know, it's, it's, it's so special and that's why we have to have that connection. And something like Suleiman is that. We need more and we need guys not necessarily to have to go to a special, you know, get a school bursary to come through. If you know what I mean, that's what we need to get better at. But we, there's a lot of work going behind the scenes into our pathway. But it's, it's very, very important uh, um, that we can show a clear progression. And, you know, not only with Suleiman, you know, we've shown it with, um, with Sasha, with Connor. There are a couple of guys who are coming straight in, and so we're not, nobody's getting blocked, uh, which is also an important thing. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Thanks, Adnan. Caleb, do you have another question? Yeah, just one more. Um, Doba, in terms of Sasha Gomez, he obviously had um, that incident where he knocked the ball on and the game was looking a little bit tight. I um, mean, he hasn't had a couple of good runs lately. Um, how's the confidence of the guy? Is it something that usually happens at this stage of people's careers and then they climb up again? We saw it with Heshal Yankees. Um, I think that's spot on, Kelly. 
No, no, I think that's spot on. Um, you know, it, it, we probably need to settle in. And, you know, that's why, this, that's why we're so keen to coach in this Curry Cup as well, to get these guys calm. Because, you know, if you see Sasha with the ball, he does all sorts of tricks you can't believe. You know, something like the Harlem Drove Problems, where he can do the ball if he's walking around the team room, he can spin it on his finger, does all these things. So that's not a skill thing um, whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, we just want to build up his confidence a little bit. You know, it, it's, it's, not, it's not ideal to check on a 20-year-old with 20 minutes to go in what is a trench you know, where the lead's flying at Loftus in that, you know, and, and the, it's a bit, the ball's a bit wet. So probably need to create, I probably need to create, we probably need to create a better sort of pathway and environment for him, you know, start him a game at 12 in the nice conditions, that sort of thing, you know, because we things went wrong in Ulster as well. So I probably looked for an opportunity for him, whether it's Curry Cup or URC, we can settle him a bit. I think he just needs some confidence because he's got the skill and the mentality, there's no question. Well, guys, and then Leeton again, so we can wrap up. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Mikey. Dobbo, just in terms of the log overall and in the SA Shield now, you, you're sitting quite comfortably now. Um, uh, this week is probably a good good thing for you guys to just take a breather and 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 um, take stock of, of how the next uh, say four weeks after the break um, will play, can possibly play out. Yeah, I think we enjoyed the rest after the Sharks game. It was really good for us, you know, especially on top of the win, and it's hopefully going to be a similar pitch. We are going to train next week, but, um, you know, we probably need another win out of the last four games to get the Shield, which I'm sure we'll get. And uh, that's important for us. You know, you want to be um, the best team in South Africa, uh, and I think we're getting very close to that now, given our results, you know, over the season. So we want to just make sure we secure the Shield. We're not there quite there yet, but very close to it. And it's important for us. You know, given you've been part of the Let's You and Nani, a lot of guys in this call will be part of the journey we've been on. And it's uh, be remarkable if, you know, you, I also express my concern, you know, of, you know, the second season. And if we can win the Shield two years in a row, that's really a great feather in this, you know, yeah, for the union and the, and, and the team. And just, um, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, you're going to lose one or two extra players, I think, um, going to the, to the camp with a with a box um for that sharks game was it was it always part of the journey? Well, uh, something you don't know. Something you know that we don't know later. Man. Just um, I think there's about four players from your side going going up. Oh yeah, so it's as far as uh, Kitsy, Fana, yeah, Marvin. Really gone. They're really not part of us. Yeah, they're really not part of us. Kitsy, Marvin, Brad, uh, oh, okay, so so Marvin is totally out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. So it's the same team that's played these last two games. It's yeah. available for for the next shots game. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks again for making the effort. Um, yeah, and enjoy tonight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you very much. Sorry to miss you around with the time slots. But I just originally about Brennan's point. It's incredible the storm was supported up here. So it's, it's one of the best experiences to see that. Just, uh, just FYI, really. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Nice one. All right, Hopefully we get even more yes. for the Sharks. Yes, All right, cheers. Thanks, bro. Cheers. cheers. cheers.